In this demo video, we will discuss about load cell simulator. When we need simulate a load controller, that time we need that simulator. If we connect a loose load cell, it is very difficult to simulate that if we press like this, it is not changing mass. If the load cell is bigger, then it is impossible. So, in that case, we can use the load cell simulator. So, how we can make that simulator? Here, I have make a diagram that we can use a potentiometer with some resistor that will make a simulator. Here is the potentiometer. Better if you have multi ton potentiometer, then your millivolt resolution will be good. Very less change you can make. But if you have one ton potentiometer, the millivolt will change faster. Okay. And you can use 10k, 5k, 1k. What you have, you can make your simulator by this potentiometer. Okay, but here I have 5k potentiometer. So this is a 5k potentiometer, and if you have 5k potentiometer, you have to use half of that potentiometer resistance here. That here 2. Point I I have 5 k so I will use 2.7 k. That resistance uh, I have in my hand so I will use that. We can use 2.5 k but in my hand we have 2.5 okay. <coughs> 2.7 k 2.7 k and this is the resistance you have to use for limit the output okay i will use um, i will give the value later so here you have to use the excitation plus and this one is excitation minus and here output is your signal plus this one is your signal minus but if you want to make six wire load cell that means sense you need sense plus sense minus then you have to use sense plus here sense minus here and for limiting the output millivolt you can use here a resistor so i use 10k 10 ohm resistor if you give less resistance it will give a bigger output here load cell output millivolt output will more if you give more here your output will be less so for 12 volt dc excitation voltage your output around 24 millivolt total as 2 millivolt considering 2 millivolt per volt sensitivity so if you use 10 ohm it will give a around 22 23 millivolt okay so if you use 10 k potentiometer you have to use here 5k or 4.7k like this so here you can use 4.7k 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 here you can use you can check what value you need so you can use 10 ohm 12 ohm or uh, 15 ohm okay so i will make the simulator by 5k potentiometer after soldering 
I will get back to you again. Okay, we have soldered the resistance with potentiometer as per the diagram, and here you can see we have connected six cable. Here two cable is for excitation plus and sense plus and excitation minus plus sense minus. Okay, and I have connected the excitation minus and plus to that power supply and given the supply is 12 volt and if I turn it on the voltage come to that simulator and here I have connected the probe of that meter to that signal plus and minus. Now I will turn right to make the signal increase like this if I turn left it will decrease ok this way you can make your load cell simulator I will give a groove here to make the circuit like this to protect from short circuit now I will connect that simulator to going controller let's see how it's work we have connected newly made simulator with wave disk controller see it's working that wave disk controller is calibrated up to 60000 kg it's working fine thank you thank you for watching